Happy Fragrant Friday, Fraghead. Hey everybody, this has been here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with a new review. I hope you are doing well. I hope you have a fragrant Friday indeed. And of course, my name is Ben. This is That Cologne Guy. And I bring you new content every single Friday. You've seen the title and the description, my friends. And so you know that this is none other than Red Tobacco by Mancera uh, in this episode. I have really, really enjoyed the Discovery Collection or the sampler set uh, from this house. I thoroughly enjoy reviewing uh, fragrances, the sampler sets, because it allows me to get used to a particular house over a short period of time. So in the last seven episodes, I have reviewed a Mancera, and I've really enjoyed it. This house has catapulted up my my list of favorite uh, houses. Is it my favorite? Perhaps not, but it is way up there indeed. Uh, as I've said before, not the most daring, perhaps, of sense, but I really do appreciate um, the unique take that they have, the, the, the actual scents themselves, and of course that they last forever and a day. So before I dive into the review, let me very, very quickly say yet again, uh, we have had, we have been catapulted to the top uh, with new subscribers. In fact, I am, I'm in, I'm looking right now. This is unofficial, of course. Besides looking like Jeremy Fragrance, I, it looks to me, I am in second place on Fragrance Reviewers. I am right behind I'm, I'm sources, uh, unnamed sources are telling me unofficially that I am the second highest and most popular right behind Jeremy Fragrance. And I know you fully uh, agree with that statement. So uh, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, welcome aboard. I have a five spray system that I do on my single reviews, single fragrance reviews. And I put that uh, number on me at the end of the episode. And I always have a cheeky little bonus feature that I thoroughly enjoy uh, doing uh, at the end of the episode. So um, I, I really enjoy what I do. I'm very passionate about uh, my hobby, of course, and I enjoy uh, sharing and commenting back and forth with you throughout the week. So uh, welcome aboard. Don't forget to like, comment. You've already subscribed and make sure you turn on hit smash that notification bell, especially if you watch me on your phone. So let's get to red tobacco. Red tobacco is an interesting fragrance because it's the one that it it's it's the one that got me personally into the house. So what I'm saying is is uh, years ago, uh, subscriber Wes sent me a a, a, a fragrance sample of uh, Cedra Boise which I ended up reviewing really twice. One was a first impressions, uh, I think it was 18, 2018. And then after that, recent, relatively recently, I reviewed it again and I really uh, love that uh, fragrance so very much. And so uh, that one was my first introduction to the house, but for me personally, um, I, on Fragrantica, you can search for notes and you can search uh, for a note of a fragrance and you can keep adding them until really until you get down to, you know, one or even no fragrances. And I really like that. You can also exclude uh, certain notes as well. That's a lot of fun. And so uh, I put in Oud, Nutmeg, Guayac Wood uh, in, in, in Cinnamon. And uh, because those are some of my favorite notes. And this one was one that came up. So I was thinking to myself, red tobacco, this is probably going to really work for me uh, because already I know that most of my favorite or many of my favorite notes are actually in this fragrance. So that was my, my introduction, if you will, uh, to this one when it comes to this house, when it comes to the notes. So... Then this week, I actually wore it uh, for the first time. And of, of course, you can tell because I am bone dry, practically. They will be faux sprays today. That uh, I enjoyed wearing it this week. Like all the other Manceras, it lasts forever and a day. So I really appreciate that one. So let me get, talk about the notes. I don't have too much to say really about uh, the nomenclature because I've already talked about Mancera as a house and red tobacco. Well, you can uh, surmise what that's all about there. I would say uh, I don't have a problem actually with the name. I feel like there's enough tobacco in it. And in fact, the only thing I would say is that 
Uh, I would call it something like tobacco veni or veni tobacco, but they probably had um, uh, an, an issue with sounding too much like a, a Tom Ford uh, fragrance. I don't have a problem with red tobacco. Um, I, I, I like the name. It has enough tobacco to merit that. And I, as I said, I've already talked about the house. So let's get to the notes. Uh, the notes that jump out to me are going to be some of the big ones, some of my favorites, cinnamon, oud, nutmeg, vanilla, not my favorite, but it's in there. Guayac wood and tobacco. This is a 2017 woody spicy, by the way. And here, here's here's what I would like to say about this fragrance as far as the smell. My, I, the first time I wore it, I was outside waiting for my daughter, and we were gonna uh, go run an errand. And uh, so she got in the car and immediately said, "Oh wow, uh, what is that one?" Um, and she said, uh, "She said I pick up." eggnog in it and i thought i thought to myself actually that's pretty close uh and this does and since since she said that i really can't get that out of my mind it really does have a an eggnog for better or for worse for you uh smell to it that's my estimation anyway because i agree with her and she picked up uh nutmeg and cinnamon as the two dominant notes um i like cinnamon uh i the, the oud is certainly not a, a, a dirty oud it's a clean oud here more maybe even more medicinal but it, it does linger in the background for me it's more I, I wouldn't say nutmeg as much as i would say vanilla for me personally uh, and of course, I mean, nothing can be really bad, right, with guayac wood in it. Well, I'm sure there's probably one out there, but uh, it's difficult to pull off. And then, of course, in the base notes, you do get uh, tobacco, no surprise there. Uh, and it, so there is this this kind of cherry tobacco uh, feel to it um, as it settles down, which is why I said it earlier, red tobacco is, is a name I have. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's relatively appropriate. So not too much to say on nomenclature for me. That's odd. Um, so, so th those are the main notes here. I, this is definitely not an oud-based uh, fragrance by any stretch of the imagination. And as I said, it kind of lingers in the background. It's more the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the vanilla. Uh, vanilla, yeah. And so, what you get it really is this kind of holiday drink, uh, eggnog uh, feel to it. And I was just at a just at a curiosity. I ran a search. Um, on all the reviews on Fragrantica uh, to see if anyone else had mentioned eggnog, and no one had. So, you know, maybe maybe that's just our take on it, uh, but I do admit uh, that there is that uh, f smell uh, to it. So when, when it comes to longevity, uh, sillage, and projection, uh, par for course for Mansara House, again, um, very robust really appreciate that, and that, yes, that matters to me, and that is on my uh, categories of higher importance uh, when it comes to fragrance. And so uh, that has jumped out to me uh, big time in the last seven weeks that that something that lasts super, super long for me personally will probably be rated a little higher than something that is quote unquote daring, uh, costs a lot of money and then is gone, you know, in a half hour to an hour. Um, so this one, you will definitely not have any problems uh, with longevity on this one. Uh, and I got um, a, a rock solid, easily uh, eight plus. So we're going to say eight to 10, closer to 10. Um, uh, when it comes to longevity. And then projection is going to be an arm's length away again for about six hours at least um, on your skin, maybe even longer on clothes. So that's excellent. Another superb week. I have been pampered, my friends. I don't know that I've, after these seven weeks, I'm not sure that I can go back to the days of, you know, two to three hour uh, fragrances. It's just not going to happen. Um, and so I really appreciate that. And then Siage again is coming in and out of rooms. Uh, you will, walking by people, uh, they will pick up your or scent trail and they will ask you about this fragrance so so when it comes to the gender to me and age here, here's what i think when it comes to this fragrance okay if i had to use one word for this one i would say familiar to me if 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 we're talking about fragrances that are you know the mysterious bad boy uh, right, the the sunglasses where you can't, the you know the opaque sunglasses where you can't see his eyes, like the mirrored sunglasses, um, and the man bun and the beard and 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 the and the leather jacket. And okay, if we're doing those kind of fragrances, this is kind of the antithesis. This is for 
uh, somebody that you you know and you know quite well and you've known for a long time. So I would use the word familiar. I'm not saying it's not sexy. I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm I'm just saying it's a different type. Uh, it does it does have a holiday flair to it. Um, but and, and it would be something along the lines of giving a gift to someone that you you know quite well. Could be a family member, uh, could be a partner. Uh, but what I would say is, if it's your partner, to me this would be in in, in my Valentine's Day episode. I have uh, right the two categories that I've mentioned. One one is going out for a romantic night, live music, dinner taking a stroll along uh, the the coast, the water, whatever, uh, the beach. Um, uh, you can tell we don't have a lot of beaches where I live because I just said coastline. But anyway, uh, you get my point. The boardwalk. All right. So... <laughs> um, but then I have another category where it's uh, you invite somebody over and it's an, it's for an intimate night um, home where you stay in. Now that one I do think would be great for this fragrance. I do think it's for someone that you've known a long time um, and it's, you know, you're, you're having dinner, you've got wine. Um, I even see it as something like an extension. I could even see it as like the, um, you know, a wintry night uh, and, and, and all the kids have just gone to bed Right, and the couple is snuggling by the fireplace, uh, reflecting on their on their day. Right, uh, and and this would be that type of uh, fragrance uh, for me. So as far as uh, age, I'm going to go 30 and up on this fragrance. Um, I, I it, it it has it is it 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 has potential to be sexy. I I don't want to relegate it to just the quote unquote nice uh, category, and that's why I'm going to use the word familiar. So uh, 30 and up on age, when it comes to gender, this is, of course, marketed unisex, but I do see this a little bit more as masculine. Um, I would say, what? I'm going to go again, 65, 35. I think 65, by, no, 66, 34. I will go two thirds. I think two thirds of the people who own this, who bought it, so signature scent will be men and one third uh, will be women. Uh, it, there's there's tobacco so that you, you might say, well, that's going to be more on the masculine side, but it does have vanilla. And, and, and if you're going to claim that something smells like you know eggnog, there's nothing there that jumps out as masculine or feminine at all, right? Um, it does have nutmeg and it does have vanilla and it is a very um they combine in in, in a sort of a, of a creamy uh scent and so i think it would work wonderfully on anybody uh, but i think as far as uh, out there people buying it and signature scent etc cetera, etc cetera, i think you'd see about a two-thirds one-third split on gender so when it comes to versatility again this one's not going to be terribly high this one to me is another scent with one exception, by the way, that is not for the 365 day a year folks. Again, the one exception would be for smokers. This is, would be a great fragrance. I've told you guys before, I have two friends uh, that that really enjoy, they watch my channel and they enjoy uh, fragrances um, that that blend well with nicotine, right? that blend well with, with cigarettes because that way, you know, people might find that off-putting to smell like that or whatever, right? But they want a, a fragrance that blends well with um, with cigarettes and, and, and nicotine and the smell. And this one would be fantastic for that one, absolutely. So red tobacco is going to be great for the smokers out there um, and because it will blend magically, I'd even say, I would imagine, uh, with... Um, with nicotine and, and cigarette uh, smell on their clothes. I think it would work wonderfully for that. Um, and then also, it just, it just occurred to me, though, I didn't see, you'll have to excuse me, I'll, I can double check later maybe, but I didn't see if it have, has cloves in it, but it does smell like it does. So I will double check that. But um, I also picked up some sort of like a, a, a fragrance that smelled like cloves. So so that would be, I would say, if you're not a smoker, this is going to be relegated to winter. I, I don't even know if I'd really call this, I mean, it's a fall winter, obviously, but I would call, me personally, I would call this a winter. That's what I would say. I, I so this is, this is like a Burberry London for me, not not in how it smells because it's not similar, but in the fact that I would I would keep this in my collection for the holidays and I would break it out for, for winter. Okay, so, so that is Red Tobacco EDP 2017 Woody Spicy. And again, I'm going to say versatility is not high. 
Um, for me, it's going to be, I, I think of what I said earlier, a, a, a wintry night. I think it's a familiar smell, uh, uh, you know, and, and it conjures up that notion of getting through the holidays, uh, being around those that you love, uh, and, and getting compliments from them specifically uh, as you meander your way through keeping your sanity through the holidays and your weight down uh, for that matter. So I would say, I would say again, um, versatility is, is quite low uh, with the one exception of the smokers. So for me though, during the winter, day or night, I don't know that it would matter too much. I think this could be worn um, either one. If I had to choose, I would say it's more of a social setting fragrance than it is office because of the projection and sillage um, and longevity. So if you did wear this to the office, you'd want to be, you would want to go easy on the trigger like many of the Manceras. Okay. Because uh, I would, I would probably reserve this more for something uh, after work. All right, so so there there you have it. That is the end of the road for the Manceras for me for a while. Uh, and I have had a lot of fun with, with this house a lot. And so really, I struggled with the rating for this one this week because of the fact that I built it up so much, right? When I put in the notes that I like, I was thinking to myself, this has got to be a five or a six out of five for the elusive TCG bonus spray that I rarely give out. You know, I it, it's close, but I don't give half sprays. This is probably more of a 4.5 for me. Um, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I, I can't say that it, I can't say, and I will, I'm not, last week I was a little under the weather and thank you for uh, all your well wishes, by the way. So I, I'll have time to edit and I will bring back the boo, boo birds. Let's go ahead and give me a, a good hearty, cathartic, soul cleansing boo here because I'm gonna say it did not live up to my expectations. All right, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, it feels good. It's, it feels good. You know, I am that guy that goes to stadiums and like yells at, you know, during the game and booze and stuff and you know it's fun come on so so that that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say it is rock solid it's a great winter for me personally i would keep it in my collection absolutely and i would like it as a to add it to my burberry london type of winter association holidays home for the holidays familiar uh wonderful etc etc winter wonderland okay i'll just keep going with that um and that's that's what it's going to be for me if you're a smoker you should definitely look at this uh, for an everyday uh solution uh absolutely and so i'm gonna go with four out of five i'm gonna dock one spray i, I know you're upset you're upset i i can tell that and you're upset with good reason but i have to keep it real like I always do. So I'm going to go four out of five because I, when I first opened this one, I just, I had big, big, big expectations. I even thought this could could be my next signature scent, but uh, it, it was not meant to be. So we're going to go red tobacco, four sprays on this one. A little bit too much of the eggnog feel for me. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more uh, amped up of the of the oud and the guayac wood, um, and I feel like the wood does does um, get drowned out a little bit by the vanilla and uh, nutmeg and cinnamon. I certainly love cinnamon. It's it's a great scent. I mean, right? It's it's a wonderful scent. Four out of five is pretty damn good, my friends. Okay, so let's not take it too far. Four out of five faux sprays because I am completely out. I think. Um, and that's what we're going to go with for this week. I'm going to go one on each side of the neck, one on each wrist. Boom. I had a little bit. Boom. Gone. Boom. And boom. The fact that I seared through all of these every week tells you how much I do like the Manceras, by the way. I really enjoyed... Um, all of these fragrances. I'm sad to see this one go. Next week, I will tell you what I'm going to review because that way it'll be a cliffhanger and you'll have to watch. So stay tuned to see where I go next. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for subscribing. And always remember, by the way, um, if you don't have too much to say about this particular fragrance, uh, uh, let me know what your scent of the day is. And in fact, speaking of scent of the day, 
uh, it's time to mention my subscriber shout out because he always offers his scent of the day and that is Julio. So this week um, uh, I wanted to give a subscriber shout out to Julio. This guy always, always leaves uh, his scent of the day and as I've said before, I really enjoy going through Fragrantica and checking out his incredible collection. Maybe one, I mean, I, I, he really has a great uh, collection. You guys are incredible actually um, by how many you have in your collection. I'm envious and uh, I'm certainly envi envious of his collection. So thank you very, very much uh, Julio for everything. And of course, um, I sent him a gift and it's on its way and hopefully he will receive it any day now and enjoy my friend and thank you very much for subscribing and supporting my channel. To everyone else, have a great week and always remember two things. Number one, I have a puppy barking in the background and number two, always remember fragrance marks the celebration of today. Take care everybody. So those are the notes, uh, and those are, that's my introduction, right? I, I stumbled upon this fragrance when I was looking for a combination of many, many notes that I liked. Uh, now I will say this: I've done I've done that once before. Uh, years ago, I put in some of my favorite notes of all time, and I and, and I think I even excluded someone I didn't like, and I got Tsar. So uh, T S A R, and I know this is going to be sacrilegious for a lot of you, uh, but I immediately uh, traded that out of this residence. Wow, um, that is welcome to the old folks' home there, um, and I know that is very that is sacrilegious to many, many, many people. But I have to tell you, I did not care for that one. So it just goes to show you the combination of notes that you like will not translate necessarily into something that you a fragrance that you adore. And the opposite is true, right? I mean, there are many times that I, I've had uh, fragrances with notes I, I frankly am lukewarm on, but I ended up liking the actual combination itself and how it developed on my skin. So.